Dr. Magna coming to you again with our series on Keys to Optimal Mental Health. I hope you've been watching this series. Thus far we've talked about several keys to optimal mental health that I've found has been helpful in my work with people. And I always say this, I typically say this, that these are not the only things that can help with mental health or help, it, help you to achieve optimal mental health, but these are just some things that I've pulled together in um, seminars and work that I've done with people and I've also put it in a book, Keys to Optimal Mental Health, and I'll tell you how you can get this book at the end of this particular um, video. But today we're outside, as you can see, and we're standing by two trees, one that's full in full bloom, I should say, or still has some leaves on it, and another one that's bare. And this bare one can represent adversities and difficulties that we've been through in life. If you are a living person, you've been through some difficulties in life. There are many people who've been through some traumatic experiences, whether that include childhood abuse, divorce, parental neglect, uh, rejection by peers or by family members. Whatever the case may be, we've all been through difficult times and um, sometimes our life reminds us of this tree. But you know what? What psychologists have just found out in the last 20, 25 years is that we can actually grow from adversity and we can actually, from difficulties as represented by this tree, grow and have leaves in spite of the difficulties. Um, so today I want to start talking about this particular area. and give you hopefully some hope if you've been through some difficulties. Many of us, as I mentioned earlier, have been through some hard times. And in my training as a psychologist, I was taught that you spend a lot of time talking about those difficult, traumatic experiences to get it all out and resolve issues. And some of that might be helpful, but I'm more excited about this whole area of growing from adversity. And I was first exposed to it when I was watching um, a game developer on a TED Talk. Her name was Jane McGonigal, who was going through some difficult times and as a result of that was spurred on to look at the research. And she um, found this particular concept that we're gonna talk about, post-traumatic growth. Now we've all heard about post-traumatic stress disorder, but now psychologists have realized that we can actually grow after a trauma. That's why it's called post-traumatic growth. And Ms. McDonagall in her work, as she looked at the research about that, she found that one, one of the keys to growing from difficulties is to develop resilience. And that word is a very key word because resilience lets us know that as a ball is thrown against a wall and comes back, we too can be thrown against a wall of difficulties, of trials in life and can bounce back. But there's some key things we can do that can help us bounce back. And one of those things she found in her work was to develop and nurture and maintain resilience. And what she found in her work was that there are generally four different types of resilience. Physical resilience, mental resilience, social resilience, and um, emotional resilience. Not necessarily in that order. And I also want to add one, spiritual resilience. And if you work on each of these areas, it's been found that it can help you to grow more quickly or more successfully from a trauma. Now some people question if people can go through hard things and become better people, but it really can happen. I can tell you that from my own personal life, I've been through some difficult things. The most recent difficult thing that I went through was losing my husband as a young, at a young age. He was less than 50 years old, died suddenly. And I do believe that I have grown as a result of that trauma. So I want to share with you some little tidbits within each of these areas of resilience that Ms. McGonagall found as she looked at the research. And I want you to just jot down some notes and see if you can develop these in your own life. As I said, we've all gone through traumas and difficulty. The first one I'm going to talk about in this particular uh, video is physical resilience. Do you know that those who are not physically active are not toughened to deal with stresses. It's found that physical activity actually toughens us, makes us stronger, and so that when stressors hit us, we are able to bounce back more quickly. Exercise is real important. I found that in my life in dealing with difficulties. If I exercise and get out there and walk, that's my form of exercise, I find that I can deal with difficulties better, and I know it's helped me bounce back from some difficulties. Those of us who spend a lot of time sitting in front of the TV, couch potatoes, we're not going to deal real well with difficulties when, I come our way, when they come our way. So if you're one of those, I want to encourage you to get out there, check with your doctor first, because I'm going to make sure that your heart is okay and everything is okay. But you just start with just 10 minutes of walking. 
and you can increase that at times goes on as time goes on and you'll find that engaging in that physical activity will build your resilience we're going to talk about the other three in the next DVD and I, I'm sorry the video I keep thinking about DVDs in the next video and I hope you will continue to watch as we talk about keys to optimal mental health and I mentioned I would tell you how you can get this book keys to optimal mental health you can go to my website www.bingoodhealth.com that's www.bingoodhealth.com I hope you will stay tuned to our series on keys to optimal mental health